Hi everyone, thanks for watching. And this is our View From Above series where we talk about different trends in the market, uh, things that are interesting that are going on. So today we're gonna to be talking about SPACs, special, acquisition, pur special purpose acquisition companies. There's been a lot of uh, interest in these lately, we a lot of calls from clients, oh, yeah. what they are, what's going on. So we thought we'd put a video together to help uh, explain what these are, uh, just give our, our view. Okay, Chris, yeah. I'll uh, start it off just with some little basics about it, then Chris will get into, as we all know, a little bit of color and detail, which is really good. So basically, a uh, SPAC, or Special Purpose Acquisition Companies, uh, is an alternative way for a company to go public that differs from what we all know the traditional IPO way. Uh, so it's a little better in its speed, its disclosures, and its regulatory environment, regulatory requirements. A SPAC, also known as a blank check company, it's really a shell corporation that's listed on an exchange with the purpose of acquiring a private company or private companies. Typically, it's one company. Chris will get into that. Uh, resulting really in the acquiring company uh, being public and going through the traditional I, uh, IPO process is a little bit different because it's part of this SPAC. So SPACs are created solely to raise capital through an IPO to acquire a private company. So typically shares are $10 a share, and they also have something called a sweetener or warrant that really you get a, and I believe it's typically one warrant per share. I could be wrong about that, but it's in general, we'll get one warrant, a sweetener, which really gives the investor the preference to buy stock later at a fixed price. Uh, until the SPAC uh, becomes public, funds in the SPAC are kept in a trust, and then the sponsor starts identifying the company of interest. Uh, that's the basics. And Chris, why don't you give a little bit more uh, your view from above? Yeah, so uh, these can sound confusing, um, but what Scott's saying is basically, you know, they they are out there, these SPACs, uh, for the sole purpose to go buy a, a private company and, and make it public. So typically, these the SPACs are seeing there's a lot right now. It's, it, they've been around since the 90s, um, mm -hmm. just gaining a lot of popularity right now. They're out there, they're raising capital, again, $10 a share. Uh, they get that capital and then as a blank check can go and buy a company. What's happening now though is we're seeing these SPACs are listed. You can, you can buy a SPAC in the public markets um, and they're not trading for $10 a share. Most of them are mm -hmm. trading substantially higher than that. So you're already paying up for what potentially could be um, you know, it, this new company mm -hmm. and what the valuation might be. Which is a little odd in that you know, they're, if they raise $10 billion or a billion dollars, whatever it might be through the SPAC at $10, that's, that's the, the cash they have. Hmm. And now it's trading at three times that, you know, they, they're not, they don't have that cash to go buy that company. They have the cash that they raised at the $10 price. So um, it's a little odd that they're, they're trading at such high valuations. And in fact, we've seen some of these SPACs lately that finally announced, hey, we're buying this company. Mm -hmm. the, the price has, has come down substantially. So they can be a little bit risky if you're looking to get into a SPAC and, and the price is substantially higher than the original $10 starting price. So you have to be uh, weary of that. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a way for private companies and there's a lot of great private companies out there to get onto the market. And, and lately we've seen um, a lot of new ways that companies are becoming public. So the IPO, I think those can be very confusing as well, but I think a lot of people understand IPOs, initial public offerings, mm -hmm. um, those, those kind of been around forever. Uh, direct listings mm -hmm. has also become pretty popular recently. There's some, some major companies that have gone the direct listing route. What and do you mean? So direct listing is is basically they just they don't raise any capital. So mm -hmm. the, the company already is is relatively liquid. There's a lot of private investors and a lot of shares that have been issued, and they just start trading on the New York Stock Exchange or the Nasdaq, whatever it might be, at a, a set price. Mm -hmm. um, so the company doesn't raise any capital by doing the direct listing, but they, they gain liquidity. They're in, the, they're in the, the, the public markets, and usually the direct listing is a way for early investors mm -hmm. to to finally cash out uh, and for new investors to come in. And now we have SPACs as well. Again, all have been around, but the uh, direct listings and the SPACs have become really popular in the last year or so. So um, uh, at SJK, you know, we look at all these things and try and think if there's good investment opportunities for our clients. 
I would just say be cautious. Yeah. Uh, these things can get, um, or at least they have been lately, getting very pricey. Um, and uh, once they finally buy the company that they set out to buy, um, that's that's when uh, you, you find out what the real price is going to be. Absolutely. So stay tuned. We'll continue to do these videos, update you on different trends in the market. Thanks for watching. A little bit of a disclaimer though again, Chris, I just wanna say we're not recommending Correct. or endorsing any investment in a SPAC. Everybody's situation is different and we're just here for educational purposes only. Yeah, if you'd like to discuss more, please give us a call. We're happy to talk on the phone.